Well, we begin the program in the Middle East, where American diplomats and their families in Israel have been told not to travel outside of Tel Aviv, Jerusalem and Beersheba. The US Embassy said it had made the order out of an abundance of caution due to fears about a possible attack by Iran. Earlier, Israel's Defence Minister Yoav Gallant has told his US counterpart that Israel would respond appropriately if it was directly attacked by Iran. Washington continues to try to dissuade Iran from launching a retaliatory strike following the attack on its consulate in Syria last week. Well, for more on that, let's speak to our correspondent in Jerusalem, Hugo Bachega. So, Hugo, a heightened sense of alert. What more can you tell us? Yeah, Regini. So for days we've been talking about those warnings that have come from American officials saying that this Iranian response is a matter of when, not if. And I think the most dramatic warning came from President Biden, who said a day ago that uh, the Iranians were preparing a significant attack. And uh, with that warning came also a threat that the Americans would respond if there was an attack from Iran on Israel. And I think there have been some reports quoting unnamed American officials saying that this could happen in the next few days. So we don't know, uh, you know, uh, how this attack is going to be, what this possible attack is going to look like. Uh, the Iranians have been saying that they're going to retaliate. The attack that happened last week in Syria was humiliating for the Iranians. It hit uh, an Iranian diplomatic uh, compound in Damascus. It killed several Iranian military advisors, including a top uh, Iranian general. So I think the Iranians need to be seen to be giving a response, to be doing some Something. I think the fear here is that the Iranians could launch an attack on uh, Israel. And uh, the Israelis have been saying that any kind of attack that comes from Iran would lead to an Israeli response. So we've seen that Iran has been using its proxies across the uh, region to carry out attacks, including Hezbollah in Lebanon, which has been uh, attacking uh, Israel on a daily basis. But what the Americans are saying is that this is likely to be different, that this is likely to come from Iran itself. So the warnings are there, but we still don't know, uh, you know how this is going to play out. And uh, Hugo, we've also been hearing from Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant. What more has he been saying? So again, he had a phone call with uh, the American Defense Secretary, and he said that any kind of attack that comes from Iran uh, would lead to an Israeli response. Uh, so there have been those concerns, and this is obviously something that people here in Israel are talking about. Uh, a senior American uh, general has been sent to Israel to have conversations with top military officials to talk about the possibility of, of this uh, Iranian attack. And and uh, an Israeli response. But again, there is anxiety, there is concern, but there's no panic here. I mean, uh, there's no run on shops or on, on banks. This is obviously something that people are talking about that's being discussed, uh, you know, on, on television, uh, newspapers. But, uh, but there isn't panic here, but obviously everybody's waiting to see uh, how the Iranians are going to respond and whether this response is gonna come in the next few days. Okay, Hugo Bachega in Jerusalem. Thank you very much for that update.